Support for Radio Friends comes from Columbia Healthy Smiles, the dental office of husband and wife team, Dr. Batson and Dr. Abe, offering comprehensive and customized care to patients of all ages. Learn more by calling 573-721-9039 or online at www.columbiahealthysmiles.com. Welcome to Radio Friends on this Wednesday, October the 7th. We're going to talk about, oh, what happens if you lose weight and how do you keep it off? And then we're going to, uh, we've got Rob Krause with us from Capital City Production. But first of all, via Zoom, Ginger Myers, who is with the Missouri Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends, Ginger. Good morning. Good morning, Paul. Yeah, thanks for having me. You're welcome. Now, you wanted to talk today of, of, about people who lose weight or losing weight and then keeping that weight off, right? Yeah, that I thought I might share some tips. You know, we know uh, so many people work so hard to lose weight. And, uh, and yet we know, you know, while some people can be successful, there are many people who struggle with, you know, uh, re regaining the weight and have to kind of repeat those cycles. And so I thought, and especially thinking in going into fall and, and holidays. And anyway, just wanted to share some tips. Some of these tips, Paul, are, can be found on the National Weight Control Registry, uh, and they have a website, nwcr.ws. Um, but we look at a, a, basically a database of people who, and what are the characteristics uh, of these folks that have been successful in losing weight. Now, when you lose weight, it almost has to be, you have to ch do a, a change in your lifestyle, because if you, if you go on that diet, you lose the weight and you say, okay, there it is. And then you start eating again. It's going to come back and it's going to come back even faster. And you're going to weigh more than you did before. Right? That, that is correct. And uh, why I, is that? Why is that? Well, well, sometimes, you know, when people, a couple things, you know, if they follow more of a rigid diet, you know, they're eating uh, a rigid diet to lose weight. And then, like you said, they go back to their old eating habits, which are, you know, going to be is more calories, you know, maybe larger portions. And, and it could have been, so then they're going to gain the weight back because they're eating more calories, but also, you know, when they were following a more uh, rigid uh, diet, they may have lowered their metabolism slightly. Um, and then, so then when they start eating again, their body um, is, you know, holding on to that fuel, holding on to those calories. And uh, again, like you said, if they go back to the old eating patterns, they're likely to, to gain the weight and sometimes, you know, struggle with even gaining a little more weight. Um, so how so do you keep it off, Ginger? How do you keep it off? Yeah. So a few tips would be, you know, if people use the same approach, Paul, to lose the weight as they did to keep the weight off. So instead of following a super, you know, rigid or, you know, diet pattern or whatever, they might just, you know, lower calories, eat smaller portions. So they're eating in a similar way um, as they're losing weight as, as they, and then they're not doing something totally different as they're keeping the weight uh, off. Also okay. tend to tend eat a lower fat diet. And we know that you know, high fat foods uh, are more energy dense, have more calories, and it's easy to consume more calories when we're eating high fat foods like fried foods and desserts versus eating low fat foods like fruits and vegetables and foods that might uh, fill us up more. Okay. Uh, and, people, yeah. and exercising. Exercise. You know, Paul, exercise was one of the top characteristics of people, again, that had in common to, to maintain weight loss. Yeah. And they thought people took like, say, 11 to 12,000 steps a day. And then again, this is just looking at, you know, what were characteristics of people that are successful. So maintaining regular physical activity was really a key. Um, eating, changing our eating patterns and foods and portions is how we lose weight. But to keep it off, that physical activity is, is essential, as you mentioned, in maintaining weight loss. All right. You know, Ginger, we're, we're out of time here. But again, that website that people can go to is? It is the National Weight Control Registry, and that is nwcr.ws okay and more of those characteristics of again how to maintain weight loss thank you very much i appreciate it and stay healthy ginger thank you thanks you too paul okay, okay. Have a good yes. uh -huh. thank you bye-bye bye-bye now we turn to my friend rob kraus who is in the studio with us but socially distanced about seven and a half feet away good to have you here rob. well it's great to be here and in this beautiful new studio setting. yeah yeah it is it's very very nice and we're, we're glad to have you here because you're here to talk about 
Jekyll and Hyde, right? Yes, we have a Halloween treat for everybody. The famous story Jekyll and Hyde put to music. Uh, it's a chilling, thrilling, romantic uh, musical. Some of the best gorgeous music that you'll ever hear in a musical. And Jekyll Hyde is probably the most demanding role ever done in Broadway theater because you have to play two different people switching back and forth, two different looks, two different voices. And in one of the songs, you actually flip back and forth multiple times. With the same person. The same person as Hyde takes control of, of Jekyll's body. Yeah. How uh, many how many uh, musical numbers are there? Oh, there are probably uh, 16 musical numbers that's pretty, in that's the show. That's a lot, isn't it? Yeah, and gorgeous. Just gorgeous, gorgeous music. Yeah. And I have great people. Adam Shields, who is playing Jekyll Hyde. His wife, Kendra, that plays his fiance, And a little wonderful lady from uh, here in Columbia, uh, Danielle Simpson, who plays the Hyde's girlfriend, Lucy, the girl of the streets. So how many people are in this production? Uh, there are 28 people. So that's, that's a pretty big production. Yes. Yeah. It's a, it's a big production. And but, you're, you're, you're running when? Uh, we actually open tomorrow. It's October 8th through the 10th and 15th through the 17th. There are four performances each each weekend. Are tickets still available? Yes, tickets are available. And Ginger will be disappointed to know that our people are going to get a high-calorie dinner because <laughs> they have roast pork loin in a wine mushroom sauce and meat lasagna, Caesar salad, several vegetables and potatoes. Okay, once in a while it's okay. It's, yeah, once in a while it's okay. But you're doing social distancing, correct? Yes, absolutely. Everybody that comes in gets their... Is Temperature still- checked. Uh, mask mandatory, uh, so, as you said, social distancing. All of our people are in masks and gloves yeah. uh, that are serving. So I'm yeah. glad you said that masks are mandatory, yes. they are, except for when you're eating. Right, right, right. except for when you're eating. Right, but so. masks are mandatory to stay healthy, and, and, and that's so important to keep in mind you're helping yourself and you're helping the other person next right. to you. How do, how do people get tickets? Right? Uh, they can call or text now our ticket line, 573-681-9612, okay. or they can select their own seats at www www.ccpjc.org. Oh, so you can go online and you can pick your own seats. Yes, there. in our new seating system. So okay. That's, okay. that's wonderful. If if you've never seen this show, I mean, it made a couple of people famous. David Hasselhoff made his Broadway debut in this, and Constantine Morales of American Idol fame. So please come out and see us. All it's right. a great show. Rob, thank you so much for coming by. Best of luck. The website address is ccpjc.org. Okay, you got it. And um, it it opens October the 9th and runs the 8th and runs through uh, the 17th. You got it. We're out of time. Drop me an email, pepperp, Missouri.edu. Bye bye.